Hey, what's up? It's your boy Atlas Knight, and today um, I'm at Game Exchange in Diaberville, Mississippi. They're opening up this Friday, so if you want to buy games, uh, you can come up in here. Here are the store hours right here. And I have not been to a game store like this in a long time. They do buy um, old and new games here, and they buy used game consoles, and they'll uh, buy any game, including the uh, etchy Japanese RPG games, which are my most favorite. Oh yeah, now make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Atlas Nights. Now, they did used to have a game exchange in Pasigula, but that one got um, flooded out by Hurricane Katrina. I don't think the uh, owner was insured. But, um, yeah, I just found out about this place last Saturday. Oh, for a minute there, I thought that was an Elgato. Oh yeah, and they do sell Pokemon cards here and Magic the Gathering. Dang, that's a lot of PSP games. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer. And this video is going to be quite long because they do have a lot of stuff in here. So it's going to be uh, 20 or 21 minutes. But if I only record, see, I would record in 4K HD, but for some weird reason, you can only record for 10 minutes. So I skipped the 1440p quad HD. That's uh, about probably about 35% better than 1080p or 1080p 60 frames per second. Oh, they got Pokemon cards here too. That reminds me, I got Pokemon cards at home. Man, I have not seen Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a long time. Well, except for the, my own that I have, my brother's. Oh yeah, and if you want to come to the store, it's in uh, Diaberville, Mississippi. I think they also have a yeah, the, yeah, they have a game exchange too up in Hattiesburg, but that one is uh, I think about ninety miles away. I know Steve and me would love this place, and they got T-shirts over here. Huh, camp. They got backpacks here too. If I can find a backpack my size, I might actually have to buy a bigger one. Dang, I hate these pants.
They got keychains too. Oh yeah, and Nintendo 64 games. Well, uh, let me try not to go too fast here. Oh, and they got PS5 games here. Now, this place has like way, way more stuff.
No. Oh yeah, and they got PlayStation 4 games, of course. It is kind of a little bit hard to film everything because like um everything's like kind of close in here so like i can't exactly like like kind of show it the way i want to but i'll just go ahead and skip through here because like these are just pretty much ps4 games pretty much anything you've seen at um anywhere else for the ps4 but they do have playstation 3 games There are actually some PS3 games I am looking for. There was a crossover RPG game. I can't remember the name of it. It had that guy from Shadow Hearts Covenant in it as the main character and there's some other characters. But if I saw the game, I would definitely remember it. But I can't remember the name. Because I remember I found that one before at a uh, Dead Super Pond in Pasigula like 12 years ago. But it was fun, but it was extremely hard. So it kind of piss me off and then I end up selling it which I should have kept but I was younger though I didn't know any better but man I thought I had a lot of games but um let me go on this other side And um, if you still got an Xbox 360, you can buy um, Xbox 360 games. And they got, wait, they got a Harry Poster. No, Harry Potter. Okay, this is all pretty much the same thing right here. Uh, this is Xbox One games. And, oh yeah, they got the original Xbox One. The one they, I think the one that came in 2001... Dance Dance Revolution Ultra Mix. Let's see, what else am I missing here? Uh, Army of Nark yeah, Darkness. That, let's see, I think that's the Evil Dead. That's also the guy who used to play um, Atalicus. And Hercules legendary legendary journeys. He got a new game coming out called Evil Dead. It's supposed to be coming out on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Oh, and they get Zelda toys. And wait, oh yeah, they got Biggie Biggie. It's a shame that guy died and Tupac Shakur. That guy was one hell of a rapper. And they have uh, Blu-ray DVDs too. And um, these over here, they're still Blu-ray DVDs. Oh yeah, and they got comic books. And they get One Piece toys from One Piece. Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. Oh, yeah, and they buy music CDs. And they get more toys over here. And they get, huh, is that Attack on Titan manga? I might have to take a look. If it is, that's pretty big. Just want to make sure I don't mess it up. If I can... 
Yeah, I think that is the manga, but I'm not going to try to lift it up right now because I'm holding one camera in one hand and I don't want to mess it up because if I break it, I got to pay for it. Well, not break it, tear it. Uh, X-Men coming book of Wolverine and Sabretooth. And they got manga books over here too. I remember like... Uh, my friend Derek Kaiser, he used to own a whole bunch of these books. He probably still does because he used to have like about 50 or 60 books like stacked up right next to his gaming PC. And they have All Bites here from um, My Hero Academia. Uh, speaking of video games, I'm supposed to be getting Gal Gun Double Piece uh, this Thursday from Japan. I pay for the express shipping. I'll be getting that in. And then I also ordered um, Project X Zone 2 for Nintendo 3DS. I got the first Project Zone uh, yesterday through the mail. Okay, let me make sure I'm not missing nothing else here. Um, <laughs> dang, 16 minutes almost passed up that fast. I missed this guy right here, Ultra Instinct Goku from Dragon Ball Super. That's the Ultra Instinct Goku, and next to him is his uh, far, the father Bardock, the son of Goku. I mean, no, father of That's Goku, or far. you know what I mean. And then you got Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Videl. Um, I don't know who these other anime characters are. I know her. She's from One Punch Man. She's like the number one strongest hero in One Punch Man. She controls the wind and stuff. And then you have a uh, Naruto. No, actually, no. That's Boruto. But on the cover, that's Naruto. Here's the teenage Naruto. Then you get more toys over here. Icons XL. Oh man. Wait, are these the original Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles toys? Oh wait, no, these are the Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you don't know, originally, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, isn't a kid's cartoon. It's actually pretty violent, but it's good. That's what makes it so fun to watch. But um, they had to um, censor it, well, tone it down because of all the violence. But to me, I think they should make a TV mature version of the anime, I mean cartoon, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because I would love to see like um, a TV mature version of that cartoon. I also want to see a rated R version or TV mature version of Power Rangers. That would be pretty interesting. There was a guy on Twitter who made a 15 minute video of a rated R movie of uh, Power Rangers. That was pretty fun to watch. Let's see. I think I got two minutes left. I don't want to make the video too long. I think 21 minutes would be good enough. And they got toys here too. Uh, and I noticed that. And they have uh, bobbleheads. Well, I think I covered just about the whole store. 
Oh, and they have Game of Thrones. I never did get through watching all those episodes, but I don't think Daenerys should have died. She was pretty hot. She didn't she didn't deserve to die. Uh, well, let's see. Well, that's uh, pretty much it for the video. This is Atlas Knight. If you like, uh, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Huh, I didn't see that. Huh, I don't know how I missed that. But um, anyway, uh, I will see you all later. And you all have a good day. And this is Atlas Knight, and uh, peace. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.